our webinar today, which is selling off what you own. So, you know, the year is ending. Let's go ahead and cover how to get rid of some of that um, leftover stock and inventory. The first thing I want to bring up with everyone is uh, setting up product minimum and maximum. So if you haven't ever done this before, you know, please feel free to reach out to us at New Order. We can help you do this, absolutely. Um, essentially, you know, we have the ability to create order maximums and an item line um, product level maximums and minimums. So, you know, requiring that a customer purchase X amount of each product is a great way to kind of clear out that inventory. All right, awesome. Now we're going to speak about sold out banners uh, and low inventory visibility. So sold out banners are really, really cool. And they are an awesome thing to use if you have inventory loaded in new order. Um, of course, we always suggest that you have inventory loaded in new order. Um, and if you do, of course, you can just click into product banners. Clicking into product banners, you'll notice the sign out sold out banner is already here live for you. And all you need to do is toggle it to yes and save. And what this is going to do is for every product that you know is out of inventory, a nice discreet but still visible and noticeable sold out banner will display across the product. And this is a really great thing to do because if you have a, a ton of sold out products that you feel you might be, you know, cutting inventory for again, um, and your buyers see that this product was sold out and is now back in stock, um, it's great. It's a great thing to do to, you know, have them give them the visibility on its status. Okay, awesome. So now we're going to cover how you can control your low inventory visibility for buyers. So this is a pretty new setting. Uh, it went live with our latest release. Uh, we're really excited about it. Um, if you've never seen the inventory settings section before, don't worry. It's, it is because it's new. And you'll simply need to click into inventory settings. You're going to have to allow your buyers to view inventory data. Yes. And then you would simply go into show low inventory count to buyers. This section will summarize what we're speaking about now in case there's any confusion, but you would simply put in the number for which you're happy for your customers to see. So maybe we are happy for our, our customers to see that there are 10 or less of a product available. So putting in the number 10, that's what's going to indicate that functionality. Awesome. So if you have any questions with uh, setting up the low inventory counts, please let us know. We're happy to help. Always save, um, as with all sections on New Order. Okay, great. Now we're going to be covering how to include inventory in your line sheets. So many of you are um, probably very familiar with, um, you know, creating line sheets. If not, I would highly suggest familiarizing yourself. Uh, line sheets are a huge, huge advantage um, to New Order. You know, you can mass blast them out um, using our bulk mailing tool. But, you know, in addition, you can also include inventory on your line sheets. So clicking into Manage Line Sheets, we're going to review the um, various different ways you can do this. So we're going to start by creating a new line sheet, and we're then going to cover how to create a template with inventory. So creating a new line sheet, clicking into this, You'll notice that we you know, would want to title our line sheet, obviously. Uh, and then we're going to be choosing our template. So we can choose from standard templates or custom templates. And currently in this portal, there are no custom templates published. So we'll walk through that in just a minute. But for now, here you're going to see that you can choose from the 16 product landscape or five product landscape. Um, you can even choose the four product landscape with inventory. So um, here we have a couple options. My personal favorite, the five product landscape, and you would just toggle on inventory in order for that to apply. So very quick and easy, great thing to do when you want your inventory visible on your line sheet. All right, let's review how to go ahead and set up that custom template with inventory. Here you would do create new template. You would see any custom templates previously created here. If you see none, it's time to create a new template. So clicking in create a new template, we're going to go for the, I'm biased, but five products per page landscape. Um, we're then going to choose with inventory and we're good to go. So we'll obviously want to go through the rest of the process to create this template and save it and publish it. But this is the first step which will allow you to display inventory. 
Awesome. The next thing we're going to cover is how to, um, you know, get rid of some of that um, that ATS. So let's let's review how you can increase bookings where you have ATS. Your available to sell inventory is always going to be able to be exportable from New Order. You would simply scroll down to the inventory section, clicking into inventory and scrolling down, you'll see that you have the option to download your ATS report with images. This is a very cool report. As it says, it does feature images and you can use this to create a line sheet. So using this report to create a line sheet that all of your reps can blast out or you as a rep can blast out via the bulk mailing feature is such a great thing to do. Uh, we've seen a ton of great success for many of our brands who utilize this feature. So while we're on the topic of inventory, um, I just want to quickly, you know, you know, touch on how important it is to keep your inventory up to date in new order. Um, this is the way that you're going to decrease overselling mistakes. Um, it allows your buyers to, you know, if you have inventory, whatever threshold you have turned on, uh, or whatever visibility you decide to provide for them, it does give them, you know, a little bit of a peek and can be used in your advantage as a selling tool. It helps your reps because they get to, you know, really understand uh, what's going on on the back end and how much inventory they really have to work with. So definitely try and keep your inventory up to date um, as, as much as possible. Okay, awesome. So now let's cover um, what to do and how to sell off the last few units um, and broken size breaks for pre-packs. So let's say you do sell in pre-packs or case packs. Um, and you have broken them for whatever reason. In New Order, you can actually register those products that were previously registered only sellable as um, a case pack or a prepack as individual products. Um, that way, you know, it, they're out there. If someone isn't interested in buying a case pack or a prepack of, you know, for a specific style and they do want to just order one or two of that style, you know, at this point, if you're trying to, you know, sell off what you own, um, you more than likely are going to want to give them that option. So um, if you need any help setting this up in your data um, and you haven't done it before, our support team is more than willing to assist with this and, and walk you through the process. Um, as many, of you, as many of you know, and for those of you that don't, we do have our support team, the New Order Heroes, available um, Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time um, to field any you know, questions um, you may have. Um, you can also reach out to your account managers for you know, guidance on any of these um, topics we discussed today, um, especially payment processing. Um, you know, as I mentioned, this is a new feature for us and we're super, super excited about it. So if you're eager to learn more, please don't hesitate to reach out. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for attending. Um, feel free to uh, shoot us any questions. Um, I'm going to review now and see if anyone has written in. Okay. Okay, guys. So I was just browsing through the questions. Thanks for hanging in. Um, so I have one question here um, from Erica, and she wants to know if all users um, can view and download the ATS report with images, or is this just an admin user function? Um, this is just an admin user function. Um, however, you um, you know you do have a, the option and the ability to see availability um, in the All Products tab. So if you have any questions with that, please feel free to give us a call and we can set up a specific screen share with you and walk you through where you can see that.
All right, so I see I have another question here from Blake. Thank you, Blake. Um, setting up prepacks. Yes, so we're more than happy to assist you with this the first time through. It's done in your, uh, your product data, and essentially you would be you know, setting up that prepack as a size. Um, but as you do this for the first time, we're more than happy, more than happy to walk you through it. So feel free to just write in um, to the heroes at neworder.com saying you would like to set up prepacks and that you're interested in doing so, and um, someone can assist you with that super quickly and walk you through so you know how to do it moving forward. Awesome. Well, I see that that is um, it for the questions. Um, if something is escaping you now and you think of it later, again, please don't ever hesitate to reach out. We're always here and um, you know ready and willing to help. So thanks so much for those of you who took the time to attend today. 